In this Trash to Treasure video, I'm going to show you how I made over this cabinet. This is what it looked like to begin with. Now I got this from the guy who owns the store where I'm located and he did put a new top and a backing on it and he just didn't have time for it so he gave it to me. So here we go. There was a few flaws with it but nothing that couldn't be fixed. I went ahead and I started cleaning it very well. It was very, very dirty as you can see from the water. Then I went ahead and I started prepping it for the grunge florals decoupage paper. I painted the front of the cabinet in DIY paints crinoline. So this is grunge florals and it's a decoupage paper, 18 pound, 20 by 30. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. See how it's darker? That's what I wanted. I want this on top, on the drawer, and then I have enough paper to do this part. But I want that to dry a little bit. And then we're gonna create a colored wax and we're going to change this background just a little bit. This is prairie gray, crinoline, weathered wood, and a little bit of farm fresh. So it's gonna be a neutral piece, but it's gonna have a little hint of farm fresh. Like I said, we're gonna make a farm fresh wax to put over that grunge florals. I'm gonna use this well-rounded DIY paintbrush. Um, you can shop now on my Facebook. Or I load my brush with just a little bit of paint and I go back and forth between all of the colors and my goal here is to create a soft blending technique, very neutral with just a little hint of farm fresh. So I just take a little bit of each color and just go on there. This is just the first layer. And so I just wanna get it on and being outside, it helps to dry it really fast. DIY paint is water soluble and it dries very, very quickly because it's clay based, it dries a little bit lighter. And so I just get the paint on and just work it in there, mixing all the colors. And I'm gonna spritz here, and I'm gonna add some here. And then I go back and forth. Now, I could have painted the whole thing in Farm Fresh and then done the other coat of layer, but I want this to be underneath, and I want it to be really soft. This is drying so fast, so I'm just gonna spritz all of it with water. And Because of the finish on this piece, I did shellac it two coats prior to painting. I usually don't aim to match my sides. I just use the same exact colors and I apply them however I want to because an aged piece never ages exactly the same on any particular side and so I want it to look authentic. Now it's time to decoupage. I want the paper only on the drawer and so I take my artist brush, I dip it in water and I create a line and then I tear it to get a nice raggedy edge and then this way I know the paper will fit exactly in the spot where I want it. So see I have so much paper left. If I only wanted to decoupage that top, I've got so much paper left to do a different project and see this is what it looks like up close. So it's, it's got a lot going on but it's really neutral. So I'm going to go ahead, now the holes are here for the pulls, the glass knobs. And so all I'll do is I'll make a hole when the paper's dry. I'm using, this is a mixture of Big Top and Liquid Patina. I was just, I just had it. and. Um, I figured I would just use that. So that's what I'm using as my medium. You can use either or. And I'm gonna take my paper and make sure that I align it 
right at the top of the drawer. That's that's my goal. I just want it on the top. And I'm gonna use this crumpled up. I lifted it up because it's got a curve, so I got a little wrinkle in there. But I am not gonna worry about the wrinkles. I'm just rubbing it down. When you're gonna get air pockets if you don't have enough medium. So that's the goal. Just get enough medium underneath the paper and it will stick. And you can see I can still pull some up and get some down if I need to. And after it dries, if it's coming up a little bit, you still have some wiggle room. So the saran wrap, you could use a brayer. All it does is it helps you get that paper down. And because we're outside, it dries so fast. You can shop for any of these products today on my website, lisaboondesigns.com. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can stay connected with me and get all of the latest videos. You can also message me on my website if you have any questions about decoupaging or DIY paint. You can also purchase Iron Orchid Design products on my site and I also have some home decor items as well. On my second coat, I apply the same exact colors but not exactly in the same exact places so that if I want to distress back and reveal the colors underneath, I can do that. It was super windy and I couldn't stand it anymore so I went inside and once the paint dried, I didn't like how light it was. I wanted it a little bit darker to match the grungy floral paper and so I mixed a little bit of little black dress with weathered wood and I applied that to the legs. I used my fine mist sprayer to blend in the color and I darkened up the bottom of the cabinet going up a little bit and I just go back and forth with my brush the same paint technique that I used to paint the colors on there. And then on the back, because it was a new board, I went ahead and I watered down little black dress and I applied it on the back. And then I took the same mixture of weathered wood and little black dress and I applied it on the edges of the drawer to darken it up just a little bit more and to help the transition between the cabinet and the paper. I took a dryer cloth and I just wiped back some of the paint to blend it into the paper. Now I apologize, I wanted to add the video of using the colored waxes, but I didn't have it. I, I don't know what happened to it. I After clear waxing it and sealing the paper, I made a mixture of Farm Fresh and Clear Wax and I applied it on the front cabinet and I did that as well with the crinoline just to add some of the colors onto the front of the paper and change it up a little bit. But here's the finished piece. I think she looks glorious in her wonderful grunge and the sides came out great. You can see a little bit of the farm fresh in certain spots and I just love the way she came out. Now I did put golden ticket on the tips of her front legs and I think that just added a unique really pretty touch to it. This cabinet is available. I'm located at 575 McCoy Avenue in Madisonville, Kentucky. If you're local I would love to have you come to the store. You can contact me and I'll meet you up there but if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask. Comment below and let me know your questions or your thoughts about this cabinet. Again don't forget you can like and subscribe I would love to hear from you. I hope you have an incredibly blessed day. Thank you for watching.